in again to make another video and I have a great big surprise. So I'm very, very excited. I have an unboxing to do for you today. And I've never done this before. I've done other unboxings, but not for this. This is a Knit Crate unboxing. Now, before you change the channel or turn it off, because I know lots and lots of people do Knit Crate unboxings. This is not your monthly regular Knit Crate. This is a sock crate. I did not know they did sock crates. <laughs> My friend Tina from TNT Crochet Hookers told me about the sock crates. So I headed over to Knit Crate and I ordered one and it came. So I have not opened it yet. See, it's still sealed. I'm gonna open it right now. I'm really, really excited, guys. It's ah! very soft yarn. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Wow. It's um it's like a very dark green. It is called um the colorway is Daphne, 75% superwash merino, 15% nylon, and 10% cashmere. 400 yards. This is luxury sock. Very soft. Okay, so it comes with that. Came with this cute little ruler. I'll go ahead and open it. I brought scissors with me so I could open the package so you guys won't hear all the paper, which you probably are anyway. So it comes with this ruler. <sighs> Very nifty. What else does it come with? Oh, the pattern. Voucher. Let's see. Yes, it does come with a pattern, but because I chose the eco-friendly packaging, it comes with a code to download the pattern. So it doesn't come with a pattern. You have to get on the website and download it. <clears throat> so, woo! I am really excited about this. So, you know it's kind of short and quick, but. I'm really excited to try this. So, there are sock crates. I did not know this. Thank you, Tina from TNT Crochet Hookers, for telling me that. Go check out her channel because she makes beautiful knit socks. She makes lots of other things, but she's been making lots of knit socks recently. And we were doing a Zoom chat, and <laughs> she told me about this. So, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, anyway, woo. and. Oh, I have some things to share with you today. I have some finished um, finished objects and I have some acquisitions <clears throat> and I have a work in progress that I didn't bring in with me. <laughs> this we're starting like normal aren't we? This is a normal show for me. Normal show for me. And I dressed Frida up doesn't she look gorgeous? I felt so bad. My last clip, I realized watching it and editing it, she had nothing on. I was like, oh my goodness, Frida. So I'm sorry for that, guys. I'm really sorry for that. She is all decked out now. She is nice and warm and cozy. This is a beautiful chunky hat and scarf I made last year. And I will link the video down below if you would like to go watch it. I talk all about it. But anyway, I think it looks very cute on her, doesn't it? Frida, you look great. Just fabulous. Just fabulous. I have a wonderful assistant. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Let's get to it. So I have some exciting things to share with you today. Um, hair is doing its own thing today okay so like I said I have two finished objects and then I have a couple acquisitions 
So I will just start with the finished objects really quickly. Um, these are some crochet socks that I finished and they are scrappy socks. Okay, scrappy. That's right. Because why? Because I just made a scrappy bag, scrappy project bag, and I made that uh, Tammy sweater, which because I ran out of yarn, it turned out kind of looking like a scrappy sweater. So I thought, I'm going to make some scrappy socks, yo. I'm going to make some scrappy socks. So, and I forgot the yarn. It's over be socks. Um, so yeah, I had this idea to mix match some yarn, some sock yarn and make some scrappy socks because I just think that's funny and I think it's hilarious and I wanted to try it. So the yarn I used is the Patton's Croy sock yarn and I chose these two colors which I think are so cute and this one is called um, Sweet Stripes this one is called Purple Haze okay so <clears throat> these are my scrappy socks so what I did was I made um, this sock in the purple haze and then did the heel and toe in the sweet stripes and then this sock I made in the sweet stripes and then did the heel and toe in the purple haze does that make sense are you totally confused <laughs> that's okay but these are so fun these socks are so fun let me tell you they they are hilarious. I showed my husband and um, I asked him what he thought and he just kind of, yeah. <laughs> Only me. Only me. <laughs> but I really did. I really had a blast making these socks. I like how they turned out. You know, they're fun to wear. They're just fun to wear. I can look down at my feet and I smile. I just, that's what I like. That's what I like. Okay, so yeah, the colors were Sweet Stripes and Purple Haze. Okay, all right. And that is a crochet pattern out of a book that I've shared many, many, many times before. If you have a question about it, let me know and I will, I will tell you. Okay, um, and I also finished, this is my other finished object, I finished my ankle socks, my crochet ankle socks which the first sock I, I made back in May and I never did finish the mate to it. So I finally finished the mate. So here's my first pair of crochet ankle socks. <laughs> okay, this is made with the Premier Wool Free Sock Yarn and the colorway is Flame. Okay, so those are my two finished objects. Now I wanted to share with you my acquisitions um, <clears throat> and then I will share a whip with you and then we'll be done. So this is a book I have been wanting for a while and I finally got it. <laughs> More crocheted socks. I found this on Amazon and I cannot remember how much it was. But anyway, it has lots of really adorable, cute socks, really cute socks. And it uses some new techniques that I have not tried before. So I'm really excited to try. Let me show you the back. I'm really excited to try uh, some of these patterns. Really excited. Okay, so that's one acquisition. The next acquisition, I was at Michael's. If you follow me on Instagram you saw that I was there Wednesday <laughs> just looking around and I come across this actually I lied I saw it a week before when I was there with my mom and I picked it up and looked through it but we we had to go so I didn't get it but I went back and picked it up <laughs> this book is stinking amazing and I started this pair of socks. Now I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You're like, um, yeah, I'm crazy. 
I don't know if I can do this, but I'm going to try it. I'm just going to try it um, because I have been wanting to make these, these, the Fair Isle, the Fair Isle knitting. And I haven't even been knitting a year yet. And, um, but I am just, I'm just sitting here and I'm just like, I want to make these socks. I want to make these socks, but it's very intimidating and very scary. And I don't think I can do it. But I finally just decided, you know what? I'm just going to dump, jump in and I'm just going to try it and see how it goes. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't. But <clears throat> I'm going to try it. I'm just going to stop being afraid and I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. So yeah, I started, <clears throat> sorry, I started this. It, these are called uh, cornflower socks. So I started these and I am using the, um, um, double pointed needles, the, um, knitters, I think they're knitters pride. And these are the colors I chose. You can see them very well. These are the colors. Um, now I am not using sock yarn. Um, because a lot of the sock yarn I have right back here, you have to wind it and that takes a lot of time. And this week has been, I've been extremely busy. Um, I only had one day off from work this week, so I'm a little tired and just, you know, closed down the kids school because somebody would test a positive for COVID. So the kids were home Thursday and Friday. So my husband were trying to, um, work out who's going to be home with the kids so the only one that could go work and anyway then yesterday I wasn't feeling good anyway so it's just been a crazy week so I was like you know what I'm not going to sit here and wind because it's five it's five different colors to do for to make the pair of socks and you have to have the colors match I was like I am not going to sit here and wind five hanks of yarn I'm not going to do that that caught that takes way too much time so I just chose this yarn the balls of yarn um so it has no nylon in it it's just acrylic but i was like you know what this is my first time i may end up ripping it out if it doesn't turn out good i may not finish it so this is okay I, this is okay i'm just it's a practice run but actually i'm doing okay i'm actually doing okay this time um so we'll just see how it goes see how it goes so wish me luck okay <laughs> I will need a lot of luck. <laughs> okay, um, so that's all I have to share. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye, Frida.